Hi and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you a really useful feature that I have found in Google Maps. And this is especially useful if you are learning how to interpret topographic maps and things like relief features on these maps. So let's go straight to Google Maps and then I'll show you how it's done. So if you go to Google and you type Google Maps, it will take you straight there. Now I have posted more than one video on how to identify relief features on topographic maps. So in the description you will find all those links. And so where we are going to go today is Matruisburg in the Western Cape province of South Africa. And the reason I've chosen this place is because it's a mountainous area and there are many relief features that we'll be able to identify. So we are going to go to the bottom left hand corner and click terrain. And what you'll see is now you have all these contour lines and I find it really useful because also you can see the, the way the, the colors are arranged. It makes it easy for you to look at things from a three-dimensional perspective. You can see that these are mountains. Now, some of the first things that, that caught my eye when I saw this for the first time are these valleys. It's so easy to identify valleys because they have those blue lines. And if we zoom in on this valley, for example, we can see how these contour lines form a V shape. And you'll see this in uh, one or two of my other videos. And uh, the, the V, the point of the V usually points to the higher lying areas and there the river flows downward. So this is really, really uh, easy to identify. Then the second feature I would like us to look at, or let's just look at something really basic at first. We all know that when the contour lines are densely packed together, that is where we have a very steep slope. Now, this is basically all over the place because, like I said, it is a mountainous area. There we can see contour lines very, very densely packed together. But if we go to this area here, they are a bit further apart. And so these areas are a little more even than the previous example I've shown you. Now, the next feature that we are looking at here we can see a hill so the next feature i would like us to try and find is a concave slope well i can see one right there what is a concave slope it's where the contour lines are far apart at the foot of the mountain or the hill and they are more densely packed as you go towards the top so there you can see these lines very far apart and as we go up here they are a bit more densely packed. Right so now we can move on to a spur. Here you can see this. This is a good example of a spur. There's another one. The next feature I would like to show you is a ridge. So here is an example of a ridge like here. I'm not going to explain exactly what it is right now. You can go and watch my other videos where I explain in more details what uh, ridges and valleys and spurs and these things are. The, the next feature I would like to show you is a saddle. And we are going to just open a different tab. There is an example of a saddle. But now you can see how it's possible to go to Google Maps and play around a little bit and identify different relief features. And hopefully it will help you improve your ability to interpret relief features a lot better than before. But thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, you can post them down in the comment section below. If not, feel free to like, share and subscribe. See you next time. Goodbye.